wasn't an, in my hypothetical agency career. I'm not fucking anyone over. Uh, I, like he's making way more money than he would have without me, right? Hopefully, I'm good at this job yeah. and I'm bringing him Papa John's or whatever. Uh, Tucker, what was the one you fucked up? McDonald's, right? McDonald's, <laughs> right? So, <laughs> so, so I'm, you I'm fucked up McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, what happened? yeah Tucker, what happened with that? Oh man, dude! At the at, at the uh, at the <laughs> I'm I'm going to try and and be as plain as possible at, at the risk of like not as exacerbating an already awful situation. But um, I I was trying so I was doing a sponsored integration with three specific people with Twitch, Uber Eats, and McDonald's all at the same time. Um, and I was ordering McDonald's, and a year ago for their 50th anniversary, a Big Macs they had sent me a hundred redeemable like like fake gilded big mac coins in a box and i was like perfect opportunity to just be like see you know i've worked with mcdonald's i've or I've, I've always wanted to work with mcdonald's like i'm a fan i still got these from a year ago i brought it in and just like you know like a freudian slip like calling your teacher mom i was like mcdonald's sent me a box of 50 uh whopper coins oh no oh no <laughs> oh no really <laughs> This was literally as they were pushing me to front page and shit. And like, I didn't even re like realize it. So I said it, I said it, I was like, yeah, like it was just super awesome. Them, you can redeem these for Whoppers anywhere. Double down, Tucker. I heard what my, I said, and I was like, oh Jesus. Okay. Clearly a mis mistake, whatever. I like put it back to the start stream, re intro like it, like as a joke. And then, you know, kept going on. And then the other part, which, you know, <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> uh, I was playing Super Smash Brothers, and I main a character, Rob. You know this 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 little Nintendo dude, yeah. right? He has a red skin. The entirety of the time that I've been playing Rob, that's referred to as Red Robin. Red Robin, which oh, I've never no. been to, is apparently a competitive burger chain for McDonald's. So I said that fucking thing too, and they were livid because apparently, unbeknownst to me, I was the front man for the entire like campaign that mcdonald's was going to launch with twitch i was like the oh, first shit. one to do it so oh, no. understandably like everybody's just screaming at each other and my dumb ass is sitting here like yeah i've done hundreds of sponsors like hundreds and i've not ever had a negative comment from any company right and this is the one that i went and fucked up <sighs> twice even though like you know definitely i understand there was no like malice i wasn't trying to meme it was like very clearly a mis misspoken thing but like at the end of the day it's business it's business yeah. is business so they're looking for a performance I, they didn't get right right so i told so i i told this it gets worse because i told oh my god uh, <laughs> I got this, I what's left I, so the address is ronald exactly. mcdonald for the rest of the year so no, then i was like man this, is, indeed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. this whole thing's going in and out so I, immediately, I as soon as I heard that they were like they were understandably livid, I was like, "Hey, like let me know what I can do to rectify the issue. Like let me do some pro bono streams, like I'll do a, you know, uh some tweets for you guys. Like I just want to make sure that you like if you don't want to work with me ever again, fine, but let's at least get this to a neutral like you rectified the issue that you created kind of thing." Yeah. So still haven't heard back on the plausibility of that one. <laughs> oh, I, I, can, I, I can picture the marketing guy who was like who initially gave the proposal like his the marketing deck being like and this is why tucker aka jericho is a perfect launching point for us he does this he does that here's examples of his sponsored spots in the past I and know. then like the next as he's watching that guy was sweating bullets. That guy was shitting his pants when you said Whoppers. And then Bro. when you started calling a character Red Robin, I guarantee if that guy were me, I'd be like, he's trolling us. <laughs> yeah, trolling I mean, McDonald's, I mean, son of a and bitch. I get, that's why like, I, I, when I got told that Red Robin was a burger chain, I looked at my phone and I was like, uh, yeah, I guess this kind of all makes sense, huh? Like all this like punitive, like all the punishments and stuff. So um, long story short, they... Um, uh, I told this story just to like clarify why maybe there wouldn't be a lot of sponsored work coming through in the next couple months, you know, because <laughs> I'm 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 put in the doghouse and this fucking TMZ shit ass company that I'm not going to mention the name because I hate them. I won't give them press. This shit ass like gaming TMZ thing writes this entire fucking article right up detailing exactly how I messed up in all the situations Aww. and that gets pushed that gets pushed to the front of like all, everybody's like reddit pages live stream fails that's puts how it I up saw on it. the top of that, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. that outlet I, I want to read it and then Tucker, also not Tucker, my mom sent me the link <laughs> 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 
it's just like everybody. And so, and so then I had to explain like, no, I didn't go to them for comment. This trash site was just like writing on my behalf and just exacerbating the, like pouring salt in the wound. I was, I'm so I'm just like, we're just trying to move past it and do what we can. But like, yeah, How long I'm in the this? last week, two weeks ago. So yeah. fucking funny. So that wasn't That's a good guess. example. <laughs> that was a complicated example, but. Uh, the whole like your agent didn't do you wrong. You were probably happy to get that deal. No, All he's the, the one that fucked up. No, no, right, right. <laughs> but we were talking about agents being evil and ruining their name. Like, no, agents can do good work. This no, is a client no, so ruining an agent. Yes. Yeah, yes. So now my agent. So listen. Now my somewhere agent, that man's walking with a cardboard box in his arms. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like my poor agents. I love them. Like they do such good work for me. And I just they they like I got a call and I looked at it and I was like, this is the group phone number, like the one where like. All, like both of my agents are calling together and i was like why are both my agents calling me at the same time because usually <laughs> it's like big deal or i've never had a bad slip up and so i answer and they just go hey man and i was like oh no i immediately knew it was about the mistake uh, the, the fucking fuck up but you only knew like, of the whopper side of it when they called yeah you, yes. yeah they, they they explained the other half of it and i was like i'm so sorry guys like you like you really don't need to be like spending extra time doing like an apology tour you know, like usually that's something I'm comfortable handling. So I went out, reached out to Twitch and like the whole sales team, everybody I knew. And I was like, I'm so sorry, guys. Like I, I put you in a bad position. But my agents are the one that have to deal with like the McDonald's legal teams and all that stuff. So I, mean, I bet yeah. they don't have that big of a legal team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they put all the money right back into the product. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You see what you need been... to do. Uh, who was that guy who for the longest time was like that, that punchable big glass goober who was like i i get all i get service everywhere with sprint and then they fired uh, oh, him and yeah. he's like actually i'm a t-mobile man now and like it's verizon he, or something right yeah, yeah verizon, verizon, something like that yeah. not very good ads if i can't recall either company but <laughs> that's what you need to do get in touch with burger king so, be like i live the whoppers so much i couldn't get him out of my mind even while being paid <laughs> by your biggest competitor no because that's a, i i fucking you know what i like i've said i you know what? No, I'm not gonna. We're gonna walk <laughs> oh, that one back. I was I, like, I, I'm trying to help you. Don't. Don't. There was, there was no, a, I'm trying uh, to help the show. We're Keep recording this, in. you know. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be live. No, there was a. Um, there was a. Uh, a Wendy's um, tweet that I saw. Wendy's is making a, a an RPG game where you can fight Ronald McDonald. And yep. I was like, and I was like, look, if McDonald's never wants to work with me again, I'll be sad because they're my preferred fast food chain outside of Chick Fil A and Bojangles. But like, I'm sure Wendy's, they're very honored like, to be number three. And five guys yeah, getting surprised, but, but they're not really fast food. Yeah. <laughs> and you've never even been to Red Robin. That'd rock your world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I can't believe that going on this show was not the thing that ruined my, my yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Give us time, Tucker. Yourself. A few more appearances. We're working. I don't even need you guys anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, 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 imagine if you'd been doing a KFC ad and you just went super racist with it. Like, like that would have been worse. It been like, see, that's what I like to do in scenarios like this. Oh. imagine how things could have been much much worse than I they did, uh, i did play the kfc i did like a little thing with them they had a uh anime uh dating, dating sim game sim. where you could yeah date the colonel i played the shit out of that thing it was a pretty reasonably funny game okay did you play okay. it did you play it before or after the mcdonald's fuck up before i'm thinking okay about all right that's good yeah. getting... <laughs> look all i'm saying is ronald mcdonald never took me to his cabin in the woods and sat by the fire with me and talked about his future but, but <laughs> wow. I would I would be uncomfortable if he did. Yeah, you know, so, you know, Tucker, Tucker. Just so you know, if I ever meet anybody that works, I mean, like McDonald's or Twitch, and there, there is a there is a like a chance that I'll meet someone that's involved with in that campaign. I know Tucker. I've known him for years. He's the nicest dude in the world, and he would never do any of that shit on purpose. Yeah. So for me, I that's because that's this has happened before where I've had to like apologize for other people and be like. Yo, they didn't mean to. The blah blah blah. I think they know that. So I'll, mm -hmm. if I'll, I'll, I'll put in a good word. I'll yeah, put in, make so, sure they understand. This is yeah. incompetence. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is negligence. It has oh, nothing no. to do it's with this. It's not negligence. It's incompetence and <laughs> ignorance. It is not People negligence. People make mistakes. Uh, People make mistakes, especially on live streams where they got to stream for hours and hours a day. That's just one yeah. of those things. That Imagine happens, working yeah. with this show. We put Chiz in a position now and then. Like it's usually not something we did with the ad, like like what Tucker did. It's yeah. like yeah. Uh, it, you know, you know, we thought the sexual assault game where we guessed the age of his victims was funny. That was oh. funny, and I can't believe that sponsor pulled out. Oh, man. 
I remember that. I remember that. Who was that. it that pulled out? I'm going to say the victim was an eight-year-old I can, female I can see and he's a like, kitty diddler. No, we didn't, we didn't tie <laughs> it into the sponsor. It was like... Oh, the sponsor we, didn't like that that content was a long... Assault, we, we plugged them in the middle of the sexual assault game. And it was basically... <laughs> Chiz gave us like a bunch of uh, a bunch of pictures of people who had committed heinous crimes. That was the problem. You just nailed it. The problem was we called it the sexual assault game right in the middle of Me Too. <laughs> yeah. yeah we did. Tucker, Tucker, I'm not oh, putting in a good word. Right. I am not putting in a good word for them about the sexual assault game. Know how. There's nobody that needs to like they, they still somehow manage to wrangle some sponsors in here, you know. As long as we put it next to that kind of content, we're good. But you're right, the naming not good. It not does good. sometimes we segue. Like of pedophiles. speaking of porn sites, let us introduce our sponsor, Squarespace. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's a that's a, a good organic. Mm, you know, I'm sure they like. like yeah, I'm sure they do. I wonder you're if they literally, have terms of service about that. Last time we were talking, you talked about like fucking people super hard on Casper mattresses, and I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, right. with your rock hard dick, wow, <laughs> with your rock hard blue chew yeah. cock." You know? That's right. Yes. <laughs> See, they like yeah. that. They they love that, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. The sexual assault game was basically we found this. Um, we had this list of sex offenders, and you had their their mugshot and like um, their age and a few other facts. And just by looking at the guy's face, we would take a guess as to what, what his victim might have been. Was it an eight-year-old girl? Was it a 16-year-old boy? You know, what does this creep and get crime, into? Right? Yeah, well, exactly. It, oh, yeah. Was it rape? Was it like a fondling, some so, sort of molestation, child pornography? Much harder what was game than you would think. That, it is a really <laughs> Real tough hard. game, but do you not remember when we did Pentacon, which is a thing that I actively still do, which is you're you're just you're just guessing based off of the biography of the um of the person and the the release date what they're in for. Right. Yeah, that, it's similar oh, to that. Okay, we did that last right. time you were on. It's just we yeah. we went too far. So yeah. I'd say. <laughs> so you gotta walk the line. You guys were like both feet in there. <laughs> yeah, you were. A, I'm, I'm gonna say you were you were a little far on that. I Ooh. I probably would have told you that I. <laughs> I'm not gonna play. Oh, you know, I'm not gonna play that game. I'll, I'll, I'll stay out of that one. I'll stay out of that one for now. <laughs> it was like Clue, though. It would be like, hmm, <laughs> he molested a 20 year old in a sorority house in Michigan. It's like, nope, <laughs> totally wrong. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. That was well, fun. and then like at least they they took longer to drop than the hundred percent food debacle. That was where funny. Just, I still show that to people. Yeah, we where we just made fun of their product to their face because they put in the ad copy. Give us your honest opinion. <laughs> that was a huge mistake. <laughs> Big mistake. Wait, is this that shit that was the cement? That yes. You guys kept the yeah, you send us a product. Up. In parentheses at the bottom, it should say "lie through your fucking teeth." Because they they said, "Tell the tell us the truth. We want the real, real opinion from the." And we're like, "Yeah, but they were winking." Yeah, they, they want they want your they want your real opinion if you like it. Well, but you'll you'll lose weight. Um, <laughs> we, we You're not seen, gonna finish um, the bottle. That on their website, uh, oh, there's too many nutrients. <laughs> on their website, they had quotes from it might have been Rooster Teeth, but I'm not 100. Don't don't quote me on that. And it was like you know mostly edible, and like a, I was able to muscle it down. And I was like, ah, so <laughs> oh, they roll with funny. the punches. Yeah, yeah, and I, yeah, I get it. And then we just took that to times a hundred. Yeah, and, and then it. I said, this shit's like quick crete. <laughs> and they, <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Damn, I was on for this show. I remember this. That was <laughs> anybody sponsored this show at all? I'm surprised <laughs> you guys. <laughs> it's a we move product. God damn it! All right, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't matter. I, right. Okay, the sponsors are brave enough to mattress. stick with us. They're richly rewarded. Absolutely, yeah. yes, they are. <laughs> and, and you know, the the real issue is sometimes a sponsor will come to us who is just like. It's like really, why would you want to advertise your Quick Crete diet drink with us? That's that's not something we're gonna be comfortable even. They got, in. A, they got this young young guy fresh out of like marketing school from like ITT Tech, and he's like, "I've got it, guys. <laughs> the internet. Yeah, we're gonna use like, this." Like like the sponsors that we've got currently, you know, the the twelve or so. Like we genuinely believe in those products and generally use them. Like I I just got a brand new Casper mattress. I'm about to like throw it in the guest bedroom. You know, yeah, and, like Blue Chew. Yeah. I got a drawer full of that shit. <laughs> Like, like 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 a lot of our products. I'm I'm very I'm very big. You got to start taking more at a time. Catch up. You, you yeah. run through that four backlog. Five at a time. Four. Oh my god. So, 